Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the Hello eSign feature in Dropbox and what that'll do is it'll allow you to send out documents to be digitally signed uh, by people and then they'll be returned to you. So this uh, Hello eSign company was bought by Dropbox so they integrated it with their account. So it's not free, but if you have a business account you do get three free signatures per month that you could use. Otherwise you'd have to sign up for a plan and pay for more if you're going to be doing that kind of thing. So to get it going, you just need to go to the Hello eSign page and link your account. It's pretty much just a matter of being signed into your Dropbox account and then going there and say, link my account, and then it pretty much just does it. There's not much you really have to do. So once you're there, then you can uh, link one of your documents, or I shouldn't say link your documents, but have a document ready to be signed. So I have this kind of sample document here that I'm going to send out to be signed. So once you have it configured in your Dropbox, you just check the box here. And if you go to the share menu, you could click on send for a signature, or if you have the document open, you could do the same thing from your toolbar over here. So this is just a test document, because I just found this and it had some signature fields. Now keep in mind, you don't have to have signature boxes. This could just be like a word box, and you could just have a, the word signature, and you could um, actually place a signature box there during the process, which I'll show you. So just remember that you don't have to have this actual forms in here like this. Okay, so once you've got your document ready from either screen, just click on send for signature. Okay, put in the name of the person who's going to be signing it. And put in their email address. Which I already have here from before. And you could add another one if you want. And then once you have that configured, click on next. And now here's where you place the fields in your form. So here's the fields on the left here. So here's the signature field. So I'll scroll down and I'll put this here. And some of them you could resize, some of them you can't. Like you want to have like a, a date field too. You know, this doesn't work very well with my form because it's only going to cover part of the boxes. But if this was like a uh, a Word document without a, you know, form boxes here, it'd probably work a little better. And you could also put their name if you want. That type of thing, and you know, once you have all your fields there, it looks good. You could even you could change, you know, some of the font and that kind of thing. And then, when you're ready to go, just click on next. Okay, and then wherever you want it to save it, by default, it'll save it in the same location as where the file was created in my sales file, and file name of copy. We'll just keep it agreement because that's the name of the file. Click on next. Okay, and then email message if you want to send this of the message. Okay, if you want to add any other recipients, and just click send for signature. Okay, then it'll take you to your signature page here where your request page and tell you that it was sent and it's pending and who it was going to and so on. So if you had other ones, you could come here and see which were completed. Like I have another one here that I did for the same guy yesterday when I was testing it out and that's completed. So I got my pending. So now if I go to this guy's email address here and let's see, let's refresh it. Okay, so here's the message here. Action requested. Okay, then just click on review and sign. Or he would do that, I should say. So it'll bring up this document here, and it automatically fills in some of the fields like the name and the date that he's signing it. And then when you click in the box here for signature, you have some different options here. You could do the, uh, if you want to draw it in by hand, type it in. You know, with a keyboard with a nice font here. And you could also change the font, or if you want to do like an image file. And this one, if you have like a saved file, like a signature file. So we'll just do the, the one here typed in, because that's easier to do. Click on Insert. Okay, and you can edit it and clear it. And then if everything looks good, you can just click on Continue. And almost done. Then you just have to agree to the agreement. You could read it if you like. 
Okay, thanks for submitting, and you'll receive a copy in your inbox shortly. Okay, so let's just see if that's the case. Okay, your signed agreement here, you successfully signed it. If you want to look at it, so there's your copy of the signed agreement. Okay, so then if we go to my email here, it'll say agreement has been signed and success. And then here's the uh, signed agreement here. And then if you go down to the bottom here, you could kind of see the document history of when it was signed and when it was sent and so on. So if you could kind of like proof that it was signed, it's the audit trail. Okay, and then if I go back to my Dropbox, I have this right here, it refreshed, and I have completed one minute ago. And then if you click on the ellipsis here, you could preview it, download it, or locate the file. So if you click on locate, it'll just take you to your folder with your agreement form there. So, yeah. So then you could share it and open it, whatever you want to do from there. So once again, just once you sign up for the Hello eSignature service, click on it. Send for e-signature, you know, add your forms, send it to the recipient, and then when they send it back, you'll get notified via email that it's done, and then you'll have your legally binding signed document. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.